video is going to be a short video to remind us about the benefits of our markdown and why we're actually going through most of this work. I think of a lot of us have taken away that we're going through our markdown so we could type in LaTeX, but that's actually just kind of the icing on the cake. So I'm going to go up to my website for 350 and I'm going to download this R Markdown and LaTeX cheat sheet that I've put together for us. It's been up here this whole time, but I'm not convinced anybody's really taking advantage of it. So I'm going to use this video as the opportunity to remind us about it. We'll open it up in our studio and here's what we get. Here is my spiel about typing in LaTeX, which I see now comes first and maybe that's why we all think the most important part about our markdown is typing in math, but it's not. Down here, the biggest advantage of our markdown is that we can embed our code and its output right in the middle of some text or math. And this is in fact what I want you all to do for your course notes. This has become the most commonly asked question in office hours for the last three weeks, is what do I do with our code? And the answer is this, I want you to put into an R code chunk any R code that I develop in the console, well, not any of the R code, the R code you need to, re, um, to repeat an example that I've created in my lecture videos, whatever you need for your specific examples in your own course notes, I want you to put in R code chunks. Even if I do some math in the console, or even if I do some math in a new script file, which is just a plain old boring uh, file full of R code, generally I want that code to be put into an R code chunk. Now let's delete this one so we can remind ourselves how to insert an R code chunk. Up here, somewhere to the right of knit, is this insert button. We want to click that and then click R. And then into that, you can put whatever kind of math you want. Now, here's the next feature you should know about R code chunks. This green right facing triangle will run the code chunk for you as it will run when you click knit. That turns out to be pretty beneficial when you're just kind of going through the R Markdown document and building code as you go in your course notes. So this one runs the current chunk, and this one runs any chunk above. So for instance, here we go, inserting another R code chunk. Say you have a code chunk above that creates the variable named X, and then you want to use that variable named X in code chunks below. Well, if you just click the green right arrow without evaluating this top code chunk first, it'll complain that X is not found. So this button here is your friend because it runs all the code chunks above the current one. So in case your current code chunk depends on any variables not yet defined in your current chunk, you can run this one first as we just did. And then when you run this code chunk, it knows what to do with X. Okay, so that was incredibly helpful. Now, something I forgot to do in the last video was make a plot of the binomial density function when the size uh, k is equal to 13 and the probability is 0 0.075. Now this looks like our uh, FBI example for DNA matching. We'll say from equals 0, 2 equals 13 because we can uh, have anywhere from 0 to 13 values for the binomial distribution. We want to draw in 14 points. We want to make sure they're points. I like to have my points filled in. And then remember, here is your friend, this green arrow, and it'll display the very nice looking plot as you would get it when you click knit. So let's do that next, just so you can see what that code and its output looks like in this document. So there's our fancy math. There's a, we know now, a really incomplete list of symbols. And here is some R code and its output embedded into our document without you having to save the image, 
find the image, and then insert it yourself. Our Markdown will do all of that for us. So I do want you to include um, all the R code that you're going to put into your course notes into your course notes this way. I want you to use R code chunks. And hopefully this video is a good reminder of what I want and how I want you to do it.